where to stay in Pittsburgh is an important question to get right when visiting this bustling metropolis in southwest Pennsylvania. As the second largest city in Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh has plenty to see and do, making it an increasingly popular tourist destination. Located at the meeting point of three rivers, Pittsburgh has a uniquely scenic quality, in addition to its many urban attractions. If you enjoy exploring the sights by day and relaxing at a riverside bar by night, Pittsburgh is the perfect city for you. If you are planning a city break and are trying to figure out where to stay in Pittsburgh, this video will help you find the best areas to stay in Pittsburgh. I'll start with downtown Pittsburgh. For most visitors, downtown Pittsburgh is one of the first districts to consider when deciding where to stay in Pittsburgh. Located right at the heart of the city center, you will be within walking distance of numerous popular attractions. You will also be perfectly positioned to explore the entire city. The downtown area is surrounded by other popular districts including the Strip and Uptown. With so much to see and do in the immediate area, this is an ideal location for those planning to stay in Pittsburgh for a shorter trip. You will be able to fit in plenty of sightseeing without having to worry about too much time traveling between attractions. Located right at the junction of Pittsburgh's three rivers the Monongahela, Allegheny and Ohio rivers, there's plenty of opportunity to enjoy riverside views in downtown. At the heart of downtown Pittsburgh is Cozy Market Square. The west end of downtown Pittsburgh is taken up by the lovely Point State Park. Two forts once stood in the area of Point State Park, Fort Duquesne and Fort Pitt. North Shore runs along the north bank of the Allegheny River. Just across the Fort Duquesne Bridge from the downtown area, this is another great place to stay in Pittsburgh if you want to keep close to the city center. Despite being just outside of central Pittsburgh, there are tons of tourist attractions to keep the whole family entertained here. The district has seen significant development and investment in recent years and is now one of the most vibrant neighborhoods in Pittsburgh. The vibrant Strip District is immediately north of downtown Pittsburgh. Once a bustling warehouse district on the southern bank of the Allegheny River, many of those warehouses have since been converted into trendy events venues. Despite being a hub of fashionistas and hipsters, being bordered by working-class residential areas like the Hill District keeps the Strip District grounded. The Strip District manages to maintain a more authentically edgy atmosphere than many similarly trendy neighborhoods. The Strip District is an area that is always bustling with life. Whether day or night, there is always plenty of fun to be had here. A little way outside of downtown Pittsburgh, Squirrel Hill is a leafy alternative to the bustling city center tourist districts. Primarily a residential area, Squirrel Hill has a more laid-back, authentic atmosphere than you might find in the overdeveloped central districts. Foodies will enjoy the wide array of cuisines available at the many local restaurants. Cultures from around the world are represented in the diverse smorgasbord available to residents of Squirrel Hill. Home to Pittsburgh's Jewish Quarter, Squirrel Hill boasts a particular abundance of kosher delis and bakeries. Much like the Strip District, Lawrenceville was once a bustling industrial district, full of warehouses and factories. Those warehouses have since been closed down and converted into various trendy events and hospitality spaces. Many of the warehouses have been converted into chic restaurants and hip bars. In the evening, the area has a wonderfully lively atmosphere, as bands of locals and tourists mingle between the colorful venues. As a hub of Pittsburgh's grassroots arts and indie scene, you can be sure to find plenty of live performances from local bands. The large warehouse buildings make for great music venues, and the locals have definitely taken that to heart. The south side is a large area stretching along the south bank of the Monongahela River. The area encompasses the south side flats, the south side slopes, and the south shore. One of Pittsburgh's most vibrant neighborhoods, south side has everything from scenic views to chic shopping and thrilling nightlife. Although it's just a little bit outside of the city center, there's no shortage of things to do in the south side. The South Side Flats area is one of the liveliest neighborhoods in Pittsburgh. By day a hub of shopping and dining, by night a bustling party district. The majority of the action takes place around East Carson Street. Sandwiched between downtown Pittsburgh and Squirrel Hill, Oakland offers a compromise between city center convenience and family-friendly open space. West Oakland is just a short walk away from the cultural attractions of downtown, and the vibrant hub of South Side is right across the river. Even though Oakland is outside of the city center, there are plenty of nearby attractions for visitors to enjoy. Carnegie Museum is one of the top tourist attractions in Pittsburgh. Shadyside is a trendy residential neighborhood, home to a thriving student population due to the many nearby universities. A little removed from the city center, Shadyside is located between downtown Pittsburgh and leafy Squirrel Hill, making it popular with upper-class families. The mix of students and affluent families has developed into a unique atmosphere that makes Shadyside one of the most fashionable communities in Pittsburgh. The beautiful Victorian mansions that line the streets here only adds to the quaint charm. 
Green Tree is a leafy suburb in the southwest of the city, a largely residential neighborhood. There is little in the way of tourist amenities here. Green Tree is ideal for those who don't want to stay in the noisy and crowded city center. One of the perks of a quiet residential suburb like Green Tree is the price of accommodation. If you are hoping to avoid the steeper prices for hotels that you would find in the downtown area, Green Tree has that in its favor. Far to the east of downtown Pittsburgh is the trendy residential suburb of East Liberty. Bursting with fancy restaurants, chic bars, and fashionable boutiques, East Liberty is a neighborhood that defines itself by being consistently on trend. East Liberty uses manicured style. New bistros and cafes are constantly popping up to keep up with current styles. If you prefer chic and fashionable over indie and hip, then East Liberty will definitely be more to your tastes. So now you should be feeling more familiar with the best places to stay in Pittsburgh. Whittling down the many districts you have to choose from is bound to be difficult, but I hope this article has helped you decide on the perfect location for you. Now that you know where to stay in Pittsburgh, it is time to start planning the details of your perfect city vacation. Next, you just need to find the best accommodation for your trip, and we have plenty of suggestions for you there too. I'm sure you will have a fantastic time visiting Pittsburgh.